You have a spoon? Yes. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. This is uh, 22 days out from the Olympia. And we're gonna go to the treatment today at Miguel's torture room at the Dragon Slayer gym to get fixed. He will fix my upper back or upper body today. And right after, we're gonna chill because today's off day. But we're gonna show you how he's treating my body, how he's doing all the things because he's one of the most famous uh, therapists here in Vegas and all the pros uh, are going to his place. We will have some breakfast, supplements and then we're gonna head off. So enjoy the day, thank you for watching. If you wanna see something special, let me know down below. <coughs> this is our favorite morning routine. Shani made the, the secret juice and there's celery. We have immuno, we have glutamine, we have all the good, good, good shit for digestion, for health, vitamins, minerals from a pretty natural source. Good veggie. torture room and the man on the right side his name is Miguel and as I said before he's one of the top 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 therapists for all the IPB pros and all the Olympians will come to his place right around next week I guess you will be yeah. very busy right yeah they're gonna start pouring in next week yeah today we're gonna work upper body uh, so we're gonna focus on the back low back all the way up the spine release uh, tension off there and then maybe a little bit of abdominal work just depends and then release tension off the shoulders. Miguel is known for his treatment and he's also known for his equipment. So maybe he can go over some information because this stuff looks really nice and dangerous as well. So can you explain what we're gonna do today? All right, today we will be doing some soft tissue release. So we will be using FMST tools. This is stone, so that's for soft tissue. Uh, Depending on how the muscle feels, if uh, it feels a little gummy or a little sticky, we will break open the metal A-stem tools uh, just to bring more pliability to the muscles so they can move and get more blood flow. So those are the main tools that I want to use today if I'm going to be using it. And I know you're good with your fingers. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, the hands. So. Right here we're working on the glute medius. Glute medius helps stabilize the hip anytime there's hip flexion and if it's too uh, tight fixated it does bring low back tension so uh, sometimes when I'm working on the back I like to start with the glute medius and then work my way up the spine ah uh, <laughs> uh, shit what here. Where, where did you pin exactly? You here. pinned right here? Yeah, that, that's yeah. a point. Uh, quick tip uh, for anybody out there who's experiencing low back pain and wants to get a little bit of relief. Stretching anywhere from the hamstrings, getting relief off the glute medius and that piriformis muscle, getting tissue work done there, or just doing some stretching can release tension from the low back going all the way up the spine. So always work from the most uh, distal joint to the proximal joint. Here I'm working on the QL, and I'm doing trigger point work on the QL, but at the same time, I'm trying to soften it up to release tension from the spine attachment point. 
the foot the good thing about the ql is it attaches to the psoas muscle in the front of the spine as well on the lumbar vertebrae so when there's low back tension and you find one muscle is fixated like the ql its sister muscle the psoas is always going to be affected as well so we're going to hit on both so trigger point work on the ql and then when that's relaxed we'll get into the psoas we're getting onto the lower uh, serratus muscle. So, and this is called a posterior inferior serratus muscle, which actually starts all the way in the front here. So this muscle helps glide with the shoulder blade and uh, help with the movement of the rib cage. So it gives me more width. Yeah. So it brings more volume to everything from here, from the low lats up. Uh, and that's the first part to a lat release. Uh, let's open my bag like an open man's. Classic open man's bag. There you go. And here's how we contour the shoulder blade. Getting right where the rhomboid is. I find where the shoulder blade is. Halfway up, you'll find the lower half of the rhomboid. And we're just digging right in there and we're gonna contour all the way around until we meet up with the lat and push it outward. Ah. The shoulder blade is what lets the lat spread out even more. So, because if the lat would be just fine, but if the shoulder blade is stuck or fixated, isn't moving properly, then that lat's going to be stuck and it's not good. You're not going to be able to flare it out as much. So, when you release the tissue from the lat that attaches to the shoulder blade and then work directly on the shoulder blade itself, mostly the infraspinatus muscle, again, outward, that shoulder blade can start moving and gliding, and then this lap will just start popping out. Now, the thing that I'm looking for when I do this, and I'm putting a lot of deep pressure in here, so I'm getting into the rhomboids, but I'm seeing the muscle spasm all the way through here, and I'm trying to push that shoulder blade outward and you're gonna see muscles just flickering like crazy because it doesn't like it. It's so uh, knotted up in there. But too much muscle tension, will, it, it won't let that shoulder blade move as free and it will limit how much lat he can actually pull out. So that's what I'm looking for and uh, eventually it should dissipate a little bit. And we're just gonna go all the way through. And this is what we want. We want that shoulder blade to just move out nice and smooth. That will let that lat just move with it, just like this side. And that will let the lat. So we're gonna go one more time. I know that if he puts his finger inside my back, I know he, I know that he knows what he's doing. So I think this will hurt even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So there's four four things that happen, four things that happen during a lat release. Part two, when now that they're face up, scraping off fibrotic tissue off the anterior serratus muscle trigger point work on the subscap, releasing tension off the teres muscle, which is a rotator cuff muscle. And once those are relaxed, then we start pulling that lat outward and it brings more volume to that lat. So that's the four steps. The lat now is very exposed. Now I'm pushing outward and pushing that arm above his head. We're essentially just peeling that, that lat out. Now when it's the, when we can get it to actually release out even more and the muscle tissue is pliable, it can hold that, that state for about, uh, about three to four days. So that's why some people will wanna do this treatment, like a lat release, if they need it, like maybe a Monday, Tuesday, before they walk the stage on the weekend for pre-judging. So, but it can hold for a while. Working on a lat release, as I've mentioned so many times, using the ACE Dead Metal tool to release tension off the anterior serratus, 
But what if you don't have the tool? Can you still do that? Yes, by using your hands. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to do it, uh, releasing the anterior serratus for the lap release. Where with the tool, we would scrape upward. A lot of people see me do this with the a -step metal tools, but if you don't have the tool, uh, working right along that serratus muscle, working with the fibers towards the lat. So you wanna work with the muscle fiber. Don't work against it, no cross fiber friction. And you're gonna start feeling the muscle tissue start opening up more and more and more. It, it'll almost feel like a popping feeling. Do you need to shave? Yeah, of course. <laughs> We're done. We're done. How do you feel? <sighs> Good now because the pain is gone and I know I will be sore tomorrow, but that's exactly what I need. Three weeks out from the show, getting released, getting being in place where I need to be. Yeah, see how you can even see separation on mm -hmm. on the latch right in there, and that's what you want, and that's right there on both sides. So, both. That's interesting. Yeah, it makes more muscle pop out because it has more blood volume. See, because yes. So, and if they stay too fixated too long here, people will start feeling shoulder tension here yeah, yeah, yeah. or they might feel neck tension here and that's only because everything we do as we live is forward motion that's we crazy. reach a cup of coffee we open doors In everything we don't do nothing backwards mm -hmm. protraction we do everything forward yeah, yeah. we write down we're sitting on laptops so everything's flex forward and these are overstretched so they get overworked and then when you try to relax and you're like oh, it feels good mm -hmm. And then you, being a bodybuilder, you got you want to manipulate your body to look a certain way. Exactly. You want to showcase the best muscle possible, and that's what um, you know we can do here in the torture room. All right, we're done for today. I just want to say big, big thank you to Miguel and big, big thank you to the torture room. Don't forget, guys, check it out on Instagram. I will put the link in the description below. Check out the torture room. Give Miguel a good message he will he has pretty pretty nice content his knowledge is incredible we just fixed my back and some other stuff so again miguel thank you so hey. much for your time thank you for yes thanks for coming in today yes thanks for coming in today and see you next time guys yes you want to do that have you made okay oh sorry th As soon as possible, and even that's why Alex don't get you a bus pass, somebody. bro. Wait, where are you? Babe, do you remember what are we here for? Underwear. Underwear. Yes, you're right. Underwear. What? Which one do you like more? These? Columbia or the Puma one? I think this better, Yes, right? they look more, more nice, nicer. <laughs> but we need to find XL somewhere. I think we're not gonna find it. There's M. Oh, look at that. L. Maybe I should dye it more so the size decreases to L. We have S, S. No, no, no XL.